Well, 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 welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Portal Masters of all ages. This is Brylander with Portal Power TV, and I am coming to you with yet another um, Skylanders Reimaginators. Uh, I'm playing Skylanders Imaginators, and I'm doing a series called Skylanders Reimaginators, where I reimagine um, other characters um, in Skylanders Imaginators, and using only the parts that they come with, so... Sometimes they hit really close, sometimes they're really far off the mark. Usually if you can look at the character and say, okay, I can kind of see what you were trying to do there, I'm happy. That's all that really matters. But, you know, what even matters more than that is that you guys are having fun. One, you're enjoying the videos, and if you're going and you're getting to make these same characters for yourselves or others, that's what's really, really important. So just trying to share the, um, the love with Skylanders and uh, spread the excitement about it and hopefully keep it going for a long, long time. But today... Um, we are making some Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 characters. I've already made quite a few. If you've missed any of those, make sure you go back. Uh, there will be links in the description below to be able to see those var various videos. There's probably even going to be a card or two pop up during the video to be able to take you to it if you want to see those. And maybe even some end screens. Uh, there might be a playlist listed. So all that kind of fun stuff. Just play along with it. But right now we're going to be making Nebula. And uh, Nebula is Gamora's sister. And, of course, like I said, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 movie uh, is now out in theaters. And I went and watched it. And great movie, by the way. Uh, but Nebula was kind of a, an understated character uh, in the previous movie, in the first movie. And in this the movie, they definitely gave her a little bit more backstory and a little bit more about that character, which I thought was really, really great. They didn't just stick to the the main crew, so to speak. They introduced uh, Nebula a little bit more, so I'm going to try to make Nebula. I'm just going to use a light creation crystal. She comes across more of a quick shot, so we're going to make a light quick shot and see how yeah, close to Nebula we can get in Skylanders Imaginators. So, let's, let's pick Each a quick shot. Uses a unique type of weapon. Where we go? I'm going all the way around, aren't I? There we go. Quicksoft Imaginators deliver justice over great distances with pinpoint precision. Are you ready to create a quick shot? Choosing a battle class is a final decision. Create. A new quick shot is born. Now, bring your imagination to life. All right, so here we are, lights, quick shot, up to level six, ready to make uh, Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. And tough thing here was there really wasn't a great choice of heads, but I'm going to show you what I used, and then you can and explain it to you. Hopefully, oh my gosh, please say it's there. It's not here. I just wasted a bunch of time making a video. Oh, there it is. All right, good. All right, so this warrior queen head. Um, Nebula is bald, you know, so she doesn't have any hair, and, uh, she's also got some, like, metallic metal infused into her face, so she's partly cyborgish, but, um, this kind of takes the place of that, like, there's metal implants, you know, on her head, and metal plates, and so it's, there's just a little bit more metal on this one than what she actually has as a character, but it buys this time, and from a distance it definitely looks a lot like her, so... We're going with this, this head. And for the eyes, I'm just going with the pupil eyes. Cool. And ears, we've got just the normal, again, rounded ears. There we go. Nice. And then on the chest, I used the Shield Maiden torso. I thought it ended up coloring up well. And then for the arms, I think I did... Samurai arms and the legs, those ever so popular bikini and boots for a lot of my female characters, and no tail. So, as far as the weapon is concerned, um, I like the angular lasers for her. That. And then gear, 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 gear. I don't think I have any gear on her at all. You know, uh, you know, if you add in gear, it adds a lot of like powers and level to their. Their stats, you know, you see over on the left-hand side up there. But I'm more about making them look 
uh, accurate than I am about how powerful they are. The Imaginators are more powerful than the Senseis are anyway once you level them up. And um, so I'm not really that concerned about that. Anyway, as far as sizing goes, um, on this one I took it not all the way up, almost all the way up. Uh, the head was all the way down. Let's see, upper body. I left that about in the middle. Muscles, crank them down. That may be too skinny. We'll see in a second. Um, that looks about proportionate. Up one, upper body. Take that up a shot. Head, we'll go up one with that. That looks better. Okay. I think that works. So... Now, color, I usually, this is where all the magic happens, where it really turns into looking more like the character. I'm going to go ahead and just get her all colored up and let you guys sit back and enjoy the ride. All right, so I think that's going to do us. This is my version of Nebula. This is what she looks like down on the sc screen. So I think when we've got the, you know, the picture we saw of her in this, you know, red outfit, and then you see the blue head, that's really kind of what makes it look mostly like her. Um, Surprise attack. Locked and loaded, baby. There we go. You know, what I found was really interesting is the character, the actress who plays Nebula is none other than the, uh, uh, than Karen Gillan, uh, who plays Amy Pond or Amelia Pond uh, from the Doctor Who series from several years back. Uh, so if you watch Doctor Who or ever watch Doctor Who, uh, Amy Pond, Matt Smith's uh, section of, of time frame as the Doctor, Amy Pond is playing Nebula, and that's just an interesting casting for me, but she does a great job. Mission accomplished. Huzzah for the Skylander! And ooh, those baddies had a chest full of gear you might be interested in. Alright, so I think next we gotta go and get her personality taken care of. So let's take care of the personality. Not that she's got a bad personality. Let's see, she actually she kinda does. So as far as the name is concerned, we gotta call her Nebula. There we go. Prepare to face all justice. right, so first of all, we're going to do... Say hello. Beware, if I can find it, because I just Ring. thought that one worked. It des I fear forecast... Ring. Did I pass that? Beat. No. There we go. And then... She is all about... Her wrath. She's about vengeance. She's about her wrath. Uh, she wants to get back at, of course, uh, Thanos. Uh, and so forth. So that's coming out of the movie. That's a great catchphrase for her. Um, this is... Works... Beware of my wrath. And... Beware of my wrath. That works on voice. So, music and effects. 
Um, I didn't use any, so we're good with that. I think we're going to go ahead and do the creator app. I'll go ahead and chirp her out right now. All right, and uh, let's take her up there and look at her on the screen. Look who's back in action. Sweet. And then let's do her magic moment. Beware of my wrath. I need to get her in a video together with Gamora, don't I? So, that seemed to be pretty fun. All right, so Take that. Awesome. Battling, shooting around, huh? All right, guys. Well, what do you think about Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Let me know what you think about. It. Let me know what you think about the movie. Let me know if you've seen it already. Let me know if you haven't seen it already. If you plan on seeing it, when you plan on seeing it, all that good fun stuff. And uh, by all means, out of all the figures that I've made so far uh, from Guardians of the Galaxy, let me know which ones you think I might be missing. Um, and let's see, what else? Uh, we got you got to share, you got to like, you got to subscribe, all that good stuff to the videos, and do the notification squad thing, because that really, really, really helps out the channel. And I super, super appreciate you guys being here and supporting me. Um, uh, growth has been great. And I've just been having a lot of fun uh, making these videos for you guys. So, by all means, keep it up, and I will too. This is Brylander with Portal Power TV signing off. Take care, and God bless.